Hey guys, welcome back from Class of Work. We've got a great little project today. I know a lot of y'all out there, if you're like me, you do a lot of little fine intricate woodworking, and sometimes this will happen. That's no good. And it's very, very irritating, not, not only to say that, it's also very dangerous. Um, and I've got a nice little project today that will help combat this. Um, it's, it's a very simple project to build and it'll save you loads of time when you're fooling with little small intricate stuff like molding. And in that clip you saw a dowel. And tons and tons of other applications. So without any further ado, let's get started and let's get out. Okay, I've got two little posts here that we're going to mount our our miniature miner box to. And the reason that I've got them split like this because the uh, the uh, worm or the acne thread down here is in the vise, and it's got to be it's got to be able to fit within in the middle of the vise. So we're having to compensate for that for having the space in there. So all I've done is just put them in the vise real loose. And I'm taking a square and tried to square them on the table best I could. Whichever one's taller or shorter, just kind of tap it into place. That looks pretty close. Give a good crank on it. All right, I've already pre-drilled the holes. So all we gotta do is put a little glue on here. And it don't have to be super centered up, it just has to be close. There we go. Loosen it up. Good and secure, she won't move. Okay, now that now that we've got it built, we can start laying out our actual lines that we're going to use for our miters. And the first one that I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a nine degree one right here. Okay. Now the next one, we'll put a 45 right here. Flip it over. Oh, put it over here. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. And they don't have to be symmetric. I just kind of put them wherever I felt like it. Now then, uh, when we built this unit, I was trying to be quick, and I put screws in it. Now, if you were going to build one that you're going to have multiple ones on here, you probably shouldn't 
put screws in it, just clamp it up and glue it. But since I was trying to do this fast, I just decided to put screws in it. But anyways, you're gonna take your saw, and uh, this here is just a dovetail saw. You could use a back saw, you could use a carcass saw. There's there's tons of them that you could use as long as it's got a real nice, stiff, straight blade on it, you should be fine. And this right here will test how good your straightness and squareness is. Get it started. And you want to cut all the way down to the bottom. Alright, there's our first one, 9 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the 45s next, and we'll go from there. Alright, I got all of them cut in. Uh, you may notice that we have a few more screws. This one here, and this one. Uh, as I was cutting, the glue wasn't quite set yet, and it started moving on me. But anyways, it's working pretty good. Um, you can cut very, very small things in this, like I demonstrated a minute ago on the miter saw. Even something as small as that, you can just stick it in there. Take your saw, put it down the kerf, get a little cut on it. It's still pretty tight. You, you kind of have to wear a miter box in a little bit. There we go. That's a nice clean cut. But, uh, I mean, stuff like that is impossible to do with big power tools, and it's even harder to do with hand tools if you don't have nothing but a vise, because that's very, very hard to hold in just a standard vise. Uh, you can cut bigger things too, like this big dowel. Um, you can do impossible things on it, like cut a 45 on a dowel, which that's not a very common thing to do, but. You can do it. Let's see if I can get it right. There we go. Oops. Nice, pretty 45 on there. You can make um, even a little picture frame if you wanted to out of something like that. But you can cut molding in it just like a normal miter box. You can stick it up against the side and cut whatever angle you wanted to. You can do compound miters, meaning that you can, rather than the standard 45 long ways, you can tilt your saw to 45 degrees and make a, a straight cut and have a compound miter. And you can do any degree you want. You can do five degrees, you can do 31 and a third, 21 and a half, all that kind of stuff and very very simple to make and you can make a couple of these and use them for different projects uh, a couple of notes that i would say leave yourself enough room so you can put a clamp in there this one here is kind of tight it's only an inch gap but uh i didn't most little stuff like this you really don't have to clamp it'll kind of just hold itself in there because the, the push of the saw will be holding it against the fence so that's not a big issue but uh you know, this is just a very, very rough design, but take it into account, maybe make some of your own. I'm just going to show you all how clean and how close of a miter that you can make. Got a nice fit. Oops. There you go, on the money. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's project. Pretty simple to build, actually real simple to build, and super easy. I think with filming and everything, it took me less than an hour to build this. So, great little jig to have around. Super, super handy. I will find numerous things for it to do. As always, uh, please like, uh, subscribe to me if you like. Comment, please, love the comments, keep them rolling. And uh, once again, from Classic Work, y'all take care.
See you next time.